Sox, Wallabies, Mumbai, dun dun dun, off the rails, oh my cow. I wanted to get all the words out before just, we even it's started. It's done, it's done, it's done. Ow! And you know what? Speaking of getting things out of the way. What? I learned something today. What did you learn? I learned that Forrest Gump's email password was one Forrest one. Oh, right. Well, um, <laughs> not sure like how to respond me. to that, but yeah, that's kind of a cute little pun. One Forest One. This is Barely Forecasting, featuring Tabin, an Injured Nerves audio production. Mubark Fluff, and welcome to all our listeners in the Potiverse. I am Barely Normal, your co-host, Bear, who's on the air. And with me once again is that pup who's up, that fluff who's puff, Tabin. How the heck are you, Tabin? Well, it turns out that I am a fluff who's puff, and I, I like it. That's that's wonderful. And yeah, I've been, I've been good. I've been running around and doing this stuff, and things are great. And how about you, Mr. Barely? How have things been with you? Well, thanks for asking. Things I'm doing pretty good. Uh, not much happened this week. Uh, just work, etc. We're gearing up for Thanksgiving this coming week. You know, the turkey day. Got to eat that turkey. Got it. We're keeping it small. Just the eight of us for dinner. So oh, it's eight. not going to be. Yeah, just eight. So, you know. That means after small. Thanksgiving, you truly will have eight it all. Yes. <laughs> we have eight. The eight it. have eight. What do you do for Thanksgiving, Taven? I eat things. Things. Like crickets? I've been known to, but okay. you know, all right. well, just whatever it comes around. Yeah. You and your hubby don't do something special for Thanksgiving? No, we eat. Not each other, but we eat things, and that's about it. Turkey in your puppy bowl, a little gravy yeah, and mashed potatoes in there. So. I do love the turkey. We do. I, I do love the turkey and the gravy on the mashed potatoes and puppy bowl. They're really good. There's really good brown gravy we get in packets, and it's good stuff. Kind of a, kind of a this or that, white meat or dark meat? Actually, uh, dark meat. Yes. Oh, or we we are the same. We're, we're in on agreement that one? with the dark meat. Yep. Okay, dark good, meat's good. always the best. Yep. Nice, yep. nice. To me, it's more flavorful. Flavor it is more flavorful, flavor- not flavorful. flavorful. And it's, it's a little more kind of. I like the chewy a little bit more of the the it's texture good, or something. I don't know. It's got a good tooth feel, as they say in the cooking shows. Ah. It's got a good mouth feel, tooth feel. Yes, it's very it's very toothy, El dente of the tooth. Anyway, of so our tooth. challenge, our challenge this week. Is to jump in a pile of leaves. Just, there you go. <laughs> that's a Just challenge. Just jump in a pile of leaves. Yep. I, I don't you know, know which is harder, making toast or jumping in a pile of leaves. <laughs> I Well, you got to rake the leaves first. You got to put them in a big ah, pile. So there is and work involved. Yeah. I don't know whether, did you ever do that as a kid, as a puppy? As a little puppy, did you ever do that? As jump a little puppy, pe- I, I think I tried that once and found it not as exciting as Charlie Brown made it out to be. So I, I don't right? really do that. Yeah. It's really not that soft. It's, that is exactly true. It's not that soft. I can always remember the smell, though, of a big pile of wet leaves in the fall. Oh, and yeah. we would we had so many trees around our house that we could get a pile that was probably 20 feet around and maybe 10 feet high. Oh. Then we would, like, burrow into it and, oh, like, sit okay. in there. Well, that's kind of fun. When, and then when people would walk by, we'd jump out and go, rah! And, oh, you know, okay. So it was we had fun with the leaves. You know, what are you, you going to do with that? So, you know, what are you going to do? But now, past today. Let's get to the past today. You had an assignment, my puppy friend. I did, and I actually did it, if you can believe that. Wow. All right. Yeah. So, you were going to tell us what K2 was. So, yes, for every fur that doesn't know, uh, in the trivia section last time, one of the questions was, what is the second highest mountain on Earth? And I totally didn't know. And the answer was, and still is, K2. And I had no idea what that was. So my assignment was to find out what that is. And here is K2, is indeed the second highest mountain on Earth. It is 28,251 feet tall. That's 8,611 meters. So it falls into the, they call it the 18,000s level you know, the general level. So it falls into that. Okay. And it's, and by the way, Mount Everest is indeed the highest in the world at, uh, for comparison, 29,032 feet. So it's a thou- um, about a thousand feet taller. It is wow. located in the Karakoram range, which is in part, well, ask me, where is that? Where is the Karakam Co range? I'm glad you I don't asked. Know it, I, I don't actually even know if I said that right either, but uh, it is in part in the Gilgit 
Baltistan region of Pakistan, and okay. in, also in part the Taxkorgantajik Autonomous County of Xinjiang in China. And I pronounced wow. all that wrong. So it's in okay. like several places. It's in several places. Fact, well, that's good. <laughs> it's several. It's it's very it's multi mountain ish, I guess. It, so interesting fact is that K two also became popular popularly known as the quote unquote Savage Mountain after George Bell, who was a climber on the 1953 American exp- expedition. He told reporters that it's a Savage Mountain that tries to kill you. Of the five highest mountains in the world, K2 is the deadliest. And, well, there's rates about people dying. So I'm not going to say anything about that. But anyway, it's like the deadliest in the world, basically. But it has, the summit has been reached. It was reached for the first time by the Italian climbers Lino Lasadelli and Achia Companoni. I mispronounced all those. On the 1954 Italian expedition led by Ardito Tassio. In January 2021, so of this year, K2 actually became the the final, the last of the 8,000er, as I said, there's this kind of 8,000er, mm-hmm. to be summited in the winter. Mm. That, that's, I can imagine that's pretty scary. Pretty so scary. anyway, and cold. Th- that's all of, and very cold and very slippery. Very and cold. I can't even imagine. Yes. So, by, so kudos to the team of Nepalese climbers led by Nirmal Purja and Minjma Gyalji Sherpa, which I mispronounced too. So shout out to them. Okay. For, shout out to um, them. Their feet. Good job. Good job <laughs> yeah. scaling K2. Well, thank you for that wonderful thing. Is it anywhere near Mount Ararat? I, if if it was, it would be who? Ray. Is who it would be who? Did that. Ray. It's like, yes. It's like, how Ray? Who? There, hey, hey, see, there we go. See, I've got this figured out now. You got that figured out. You got <laughs> it. got that Good figured deal. out now. So uh, we don't have a mailbag, but I do have a pet peeve. Oh, you do? And my pet peeve is this. You, last week, you asked me about uh, getting up during a show or a movie to go pee. And you asked me if I push pause when I'm at home, which I do. And you were very excited that I did that because it I, made I you would, feel was... better. I do have a pet peeve about watching a movie with someone. Please do not talk during the movie. Now, I understand oh. when you're at home. You can talk during a movie because you're at home. When you're in the movie theater, you don't talk during the movie because it's very rude. So I think the rudeness carries over to home as well. And Mm. here's the thing. I have a friend. He always wants to come over and watch a movie. But he constantly talks during the movie, asking about things, talking about this, talking about something, other things. And so it drives me batty. I get a berry batty. I get berry, berry batty. If you want to chat, let's chat. If you want to watch a movie, then shut the fluff up and let's watch the fluffing movie. And that's what I have to say about that. Do you know what I have to say about that, Barely? I have a retort. And my retort is I agree so 150 million percent. Oh, my cow. That is one of the (gasps) we are of the same like fluff. I hate it. Even if even if they say like. Just a sentence or something. Like, don't talk. Like, watch the. Th- we are so. I'm so glad. Watch you said the movie because we are yes. on. Yep. That, like any. Yep. Oh, we are so okay. Yep. No, we. So, I just. Yeah. I can't. Oh, I don't yeah. even know it's what rough. else to say about that. But um. Yeah. I am so glad we are of like fluff with that. I feel this is good. This is good. This has been productive. Speaking of movies, that takes us up to media. media. Are you ready to discuss our media today? Yeah. I'm pretty basic this week. I watched a couple episodes of Bob's Burgers and Family Guy, along with another episode of The Great British Bake Off. I don't know if you've ever oh, heard yeah. of that. It's yeah, on uh, I remember you uh, talked Netflix about that. and Hulu. But yeah, uh, you talked about um, that on a few a few weeks ago, I think. And so, um, yeah, that's it. I was really confused about it, but you explained all about mm-hmm. it, and it, it sounded oh, and it's because it's British. They're all like nice to each other and stuff. In fact, we were watching it yesterday, and there was a gal. It was biscuit week. You know, biscuits to them are cookies to us. Yeah, oh yeah. So oh yeah. When it's biscuit week, they have to make cookies and things like that. So what happened was this gal had to make they had to make a like a toy out of biscuits, out of cookies. And she decided she was gonna use a sugar cookie recipe instead of gingerbread, because gingerbread is what you use to make things oh. strong and structural, like I a gingerbread see. house, mm-hmm. right? And her poor little rocking horse just 
fell all apart. Oh no! She's trying to glue it together with sugar glue, and there's a, a the other contestants are holding it together while she's coating oh, it with sugar glue. That's but awesome. But it didn't work. It didn't. That's work. adorable. Nope, it did not. It did not work. Uh, and then today I watched the first Doctor Who episode of the newest season. It's with uh, oh, Jodie Whittaker. That must have been exciting. It was exciting for me. I was like sitting here thinking, what can I do? It's like, ooh, I have some Doctor Who to watch. And that's what I did. And we're not going to get off the rails with Doctor Who this week since we spent a long time with that last week. So We know where that would go. So, yeah, I'm not yeah. going to. We'll stop. Yeah. No Doctor Who. <laughs> so what about you? What have you been watching? Oh, we're kind of kind of same things for lunchies. I've been continuing on rewatching South Park in order and everything, and the Goldbergs still watching that. We watched recently the Karate Kid episode. It was so good. That was so good. I don't know if you remember that episode, but it was so good. It's worth which going episode back. was that? The Karate Kid episode. I I don't remember exactly what it's called, but oh, from the Goldbergs. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I did like. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. so good. I mean, they're all so good. Like when we watched today, oh, I love that show so much. So great. We also watched a little bit more of the Flash. That series I talked about a few or the last few weeks, and um, so. They have uh, cameos. You like the arrow, right? Well, they had a whole episode that had the arrow in it, and apparently he's going to show up again some more, along with um, Felicity from the arrow and whoever the other one is. I forget. A recent episode we watched had Wentworth Miller. Do you remember who Wentworth Miller is? I have not a clue. Michael Schofield from Prison Break. Never watched that show either. No. No. You haven't seen Prison Break? I have you not have an seen assignment. Prison Break. You have an assignment. I have to watch Prison Break. I will make oh, a note. Oh, it's so good. So every fur out there, if you've seen Prison Break, write in about Prison Break because uh, this puppy really likes Prison Break. Hmm. So it has okay. Wentworth Miller. He doesn't play as that same character, but it's that actor. And in Prison Break, Michael Schofield is his name in Prison Break, and he has a brother. Yes. And that brother, I mean, it's not his real brother, but... Like in her life, but that brother actually also shows up in the same episode. It's, it was like kind of interesting hmm. how they had, and I think they're going to be uh, in future episodes. Anyway, it was it's been a really cool flash week because there's been a lot of like cameos from from things that I've seen before. But that's awesome. my media for the week. Great. I I mean, obviously you haven't been reading anything either. I haven't had a chance to read anything either, so I don't even have time to read the news anymore. But you know, what the heck. I understand. I understand. Me too. All right. Well, you said you wanted to do a little comedy bit. I do. Okay. (laughs) So, speaking of the Goldbergs. Yes. Um, This is a little comedy bit from the Goldbergs. Give us a, set us up, Tabin. Set us up. Okay. This actually came from an episode of Goldbergs that I watched today. And it's, well, the the actual bit doesn't have, well... It does have something to do with the main storyline, but it's just a fun little, um, I, I like almost literally, I lolled and I almost literally raffled. Um, oh, and, and so wow. we're, we're, we're going to do that little bit and it won't be as good. So shout out to the episode, which is called the day after the day after I think it's episode 422 anyway, but I thought, it um, is. Hey, let's see if I can, let's, let's do that. And so it's a tiny little part. And so what's happening is Barry Goldberg is coming in and, and he wants to uh, make the basement into a bunker in case, you know, there's like world collapse contam- contaminacies. What's the word I'm looking for? Catastrophes. Calamities. Catastrophes. Calamities. 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 Yes. Catastrophes. All that. So he wants to turn. All the C turn- words. He, he wants to turn the basement into a bunker in case that happens. And dad, Murray, is like not all about it. And like, no, no, no. You know how he is and everything. No, no. Mm-hmm. And then Pops is, uh, so Barry's working with Pops and they get um, a scheme to try and convince Murray to do that. And so Barry a makes a little a radio announcement and brings it into the living room and plays it. And, you know, it's it's very, it's like, oh, this is a real thing. Let's turn on the radio and you see what's happening. And then um, a quote unquote radio announcer comes in, a.k.a. Barry saying it, comes on and says. Had a hard day. Thought I'd catch up on some world events by listening to the radio. This is not a test of the emergency broadcast system. Oh, no. This is real and completely serious because the newscaster said so. We have confirmation from President Reagan that Russia has launched a bunch of nukes at Jenkintown, just like in that movie we all saw. It's happening right now as we speak, live here in the 80s. And so it says that. So then, you know, trying to get 
Murray to um, agree to all this. And Murray's like, no, no, not going to have it. So this is where this little skit starts. And I will be playing the part of both Barry and Pops. And okay. Barry will be playing the part of Murray. Um, Murray. So this is okay. first starts out with Murray's response to the quote unquote radio announcement. I told you you're not building a dopey bunker in the basement. Well, thank you for keeping an open mind. I also need money for the following items. 700 pounds of poured concrete, lifetime supply of potatoes, seven bottles of ketchup for the potatoes. There's one in the fridge. Just take that and go. Uh, But there's more. We need a chicken. We need a cage for the chicken. We need medicine for the chicken. We need a chicken exercise wheel and a lady chicken to keep the other chicken company. Please stop asking me to build a life for this chicken. Pops comes in. Did he say no to the bunker? I said no. Did you tell him about the chicken? I don't want to hear about the chicken. But the chicken's the whole thing! Barry says, he doesn't care about the chicken. Pop says, Marie, buy the boy a chicken. No chicken. And that's what had me almost ruffling, actually. So (laughs) Ruffling. No chicken. Because the chicken, it's all about the chicken. (laughs) It's all about the chicken. The chicken is the most important thing. Yeah. I love the whole chicken thing. That was so awesome. Anyway, Mm -hmm. there's that. Well, Tabin, it's time to go visit Lux again. She invited us over. She said she has something exciting for us. Are you ready this time? No. After, like, wow, what's been going on with that? First, we're like like Star Trek and then flung flung over the what, with the catapult and then the swimming thing. The cat, and the, This is getting scary, but... Um, I know. I know. Every time we go there, there's something weird and obtruse. I so, know. At, at least... Or obtuse. One of the two. At, at so. least, I mean, Earl is kind of the most sane thing about all this, which is really scary, but uh, let's, let's go try it, I guess. That is. And we need to have a chat with Earl about why they discontinued everything at, That's uh, tr- at uh, definitely. Taco Bell when we get there. So He discontinued all, all right, my well, favorite let's head things. On out. So we sh- yeah, definitely. I know. All right. Well, yeah, uh, when we talk to Earl, let's talk to him why they discontinued all the stuff. Maybe he can make it for us when we get there. Who knows? Oh, that'd be nice. I that'd don't know. Nice. That's hard hey, to browse. say. Hey, Browse. Yeah. Hey, Hey, Browse. Hey. It's Skyler with two oh, R's. How you doing? It's Skyler. Hey. Skyler with two R's. Yeah. How you doing? Oh, doing We're back. Doing great. Doing great, bro. How's it, how's it being a bear? Please, please tell me uh, that there's no uh, water slide thingy. Um, oh no no bro that 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 thing was put together with scotch tape and hope bro now it, okay that, I, I, I mean, could there's a lot of got, hope like, on that action <laughs> parked like you got y'all yeah yeah yeah. well it's it's no worries though because like i found a way better way to travel and you know because like mm-hmm. right now if you look uh there's this giant like punji pit with like spikes and stuff in between the porticulas and the lab now because like my, my that doesn't sound are getting bitter. kind of gnarly with their raids that doesn't sound better at all. But it's all no. right, because like the the answer oh. to war is always peace. So we're gonna get across here by oh, closing okay. our eyes and opening your third eye. I hope we when you end up over are, there in walk, one piece. You'll just, since that's the answer to yeah, you'll, everything. You'll, just, you'll yes. float across, bro. Because like because like all mass and time is an illusion. So just close your eyes, and if you're open to the okay, possibility, open your third eye, bro. Okay. Concentrate. Conce- oh my god. Oh my god. All right. The pup's got it. You're floating, bro. Barely, go. Go chase your bliss. All right. Oh, look at that. You just floated to the other side like a cloud. Barely. You're still stuck over here, though, bro. I guess I don't have a third eye. Oh, no, bro. We all got a third eye, bro. You, you feel like you're, you're just getting blocked. Is there something on your mind, bro? Uh, just chickens. Chickens. Oh shoot, man. That, that's a chickens total, on my mind. That's a total chakra blocker, the chickens, man. Don't worry. Here's a vial okay. of substance. One vial makes you smaller vial. and the other makes you grow large. So just drink the large one and you'll grow big enough to walk across the ravine, bro. Wow, well, how 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 Alice in Wonderland. All right, here I go. Hmm, <laughs> that was Well, it's just your legs, dude. Oh. That's all you need. Go for it. Well, okay. All right, I'll step right across. All right, now drink the Can second I... one, unless you want to be really good at basketball for a while, bro. No, I'm going to drink that second one. All right. There you well, go. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Hi, Tabin. Uh, sorry about that. I was a little, I was a little leggy for a second there. All you right. Definitely yeah, were a little leggy for a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. 
Okay. We don't want any. Oh, barely. Taven. Hey, hi. gosh, you hi. know. Hi. I haven't I haven't opened this door in like half a year. Hi, come on in, guys. Come on in. How Thanks. you doing? Okay. Thank- well, we're doing. Uh, what do you got for us today? Uh, yeah, Anything well, let's, let's go ahead. Um, we'll go ahead. I got a fireman's pole here because the elevator's too distracted. There's too many buttons. So just hop on on this, slide on down, and we'll go on down to the lab. Woo! Ooh. All right. Oh, wow. Well, you know, that's, us all okay, going, get off my shoulders. I was going to say, us all going down at once seems kind of like jungle cruisy, but that's okay. All yeah. right. So, no, it, it worked. It's fine. It worked. I was gonna say so. So, so the, the main issue we've been having with our transformation station sessions, it just it gets so far off the rails. We got to get it back on. So we're going back to the basics uh, this oh, week. Oh, okay, interesting. So, Taven, interesting. I've got the old table Hi. I used to strap you down to. So just go ahead and oh, nice. climb up on there, and I'll I'll restrain you. And okay. then barely we're we're back yeah. to the pull start it's gasoline engine. Although this time I've used nice gasoline go with extra reasons. lead, as opposed to unleaded. So. Hopefully okay. I'll give it some well, punch. So I want you to get back there. Don't okay. breathe in the exhaust, but I need you to pull it a couple of times. All right? Okay. All right. Okay. You got you to gotta, gotta hit the choke, man. I'm going to climb up on here. And um, I got one of these, like, Spencer's gift, like, electric balls here I'm going to poke my finger on. And, um, Taven, I, I, you're going to need to – if you can't strap yourself down, I'm going to have to call Crunch Wrapper Earl. So get get in there and do it as quickly as, as you can, bruh. All right, yeah, okay. All right, so, so Taven, I'm warning you. So th- those straps, should you should be able to strap yourself oh, down I can do my, with wow. those straps. Okay. But if you need any help, I can just call Crunch Wrapper Earl, and he'll touch you I for a while. Bet strap you will. Down. No, I bet he will. No, I'll be okay. Sure. I'll be fine. Okay, all right. I can, Yeah, all right, look yeah, at you. You're, you're, I got it. That's fantastic. My all right. And uh, Barely, how's that, how's that pull start going? Uh, I... It starts and then it stops. You really got to hit that choke. Like, like I don't know. Like, it feels like some of your chakras have like a chicken block or something. Just, just go ahead oh, and, right. and really put some muscle in there. Like, if, if you got chickens on the brain, then become the chicken and pull that start. Become one, one, the with, the chicken. Chicken. one with the chicken. Okay. Oh, oh man, there it goes. Plus, there's a bunch of feathers coming out of this thing. That's, That's chicken. Cool. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. You know, I I forgot how jiggity jank this gasoline motor is. It might it might catch fire. Uh, Barely, can you grab that fire extinguisher? Oh, God. Absolutely. I don't really need another OSHA violation. All right. I'm going to kind of calibrate this a little bit. I'm going to try to hit you, not on your chest, but on your belly button this time around, Taven. So uh, I was going to oh. say, uh, unfortunately, those those straps aren't down too tight, but um, there's a belt next to you. You're going to want to bite oh. down on that or else you'll swallow your tongue, I, okay? Okay. I, I bite. I, I bite All hard. All right. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, normally, I mean, with, with, with it running this hot, oh, God, duh, these meters are starting to beep a little bit. Okay. Up. Uh, all right, I don't. Uh, dude, should we should we should we forfeit? Nope, we're doing it for science. I'm gonna spin the wheel and let's go in three, oh my. two, one. Oh god! Oh god! No! Oh god! Oh god! It's on fire! Everything's on fire! Barely, barely put it out! Put it out! No! 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 no. The, 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 the. I got it! I got okay, it! I got okay. it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Got it! All right! All right. All right. Hey. Oh. Hi. oh, there we are! Hey, oh, yeah. that's. Oh. You know what? That transformation is normal. Normal? Normal. You are a some kind of oh. amphibian. Oh my goodness! You're a little. You're a little. You're a little newt. Uh, you're like a little. I love little, little, little newts. newts. They're so cute. And oh then my I goodness. am finally cute. I have been trying so you are long like and hard to be cute, and I'm glad I finally, with your help, I am now cute. So thank you oh. so much. Well, for you're already. Cute. Oh my goodness! I'm. I'm gonna take out my cute cuteometer here because normally. Yeah, normally you're at like Shirley Temple. We're oh. talking about like Baby Yoda baby, levels. Uh, this is this. You are off the charts, oh adorable man. Oh my! Fuck. Yeah. Oh, you look at look at. I'm gonna pick him up, and I'm gonna show you to barely look at the look at tiny little Tape and Newt. It's Hi. tiny little Tape and Newt. Hi, Hi Tape. Oh, you're so adorable. Oh my I'm so goodness. excited yeah, to so, find so you have so adorable. my life's right? dream with right? the power oh, of Tape that Tape I had any to do tiny, with. Tiny little Newt. It feels yeah, adorable, kind of... actually. <laughs> and it's like the world is uh, so huge, but I feel adorable kind of... and tiny. And it's, yeah, it's a little a overwhelming, sticky. but I love uh, it. You're a bit wet. So, I you know, I was going to say, I, I think it newts can, I don't know if it's a gecko thing, but they can sticky, clean yes. their eyeballs with their tongue. You want to you wanna give that a shot? Oh, no? Yeah, I'm not going to try that. All right. I, 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 I okay, don't know. Well, I mean... I'm not going to try it. <laughs> All right. 
I, I have a f I, oh, I have no, a feeling you know, though that someone's oh, gonna think oh, you're a witch. Oh boy. Uh well a witch? So here's the here's the issue, guys. So yeah, you're you're this tiny yeah. adorable little newt, but um barely look at the shape mm -hmm. the transformation ray's in. That's that's uh pretty foobar, wouldn't you say? Oh boy. I I, I might be stuck here. I, you know, yeah, well, it's, it's shoot, you know, I can't You might be stuck if, as if a newt. If you're stuck as a newt, I don't get paid. That's the problem. Um I got to have to fully transform you forward. Uh, and that's forward. the worst part. That's okay, true. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I have this this spare terrarium and there was a Pac-Man frog in here, but I'm just going to take him out. <laughs> yes. Okay, I've thrown the frog across a the room. Pac-Man frog? Okay, well. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he'll be he'll be fine. I'm going to lower you into this gentle moist uh, environment to give you a little mist here, ooh, and um, I gotta, I gotta figure this Moist. out. This transformation oh, like ray oh, is oh. not so hot. In fact, uh, but barely here moist. are some, here are some, um, some, it was some moist. new snacks because they're originally for the Pac-Man frog. The Pac-Man frog is giving me the evil eye, but he doesn't move much, so he'll be, he'll be what? fine. Oh, bugs! So it's basically does, a Lion King situation. What does a in newt this box. eat? Just go ahead and find something tasty for Tabin. Oh, and bugs! I'm gonna see okay. if I can't okay. write the ship ah, here with okay, the transformation ray. So, okay. Tabin. Tabin, oh, do you want the bug? Do you want the bug, Tabin? Do you want the bug? Do you want the bug? Do you want it? Here, okay. okay, open your mouth. All right, oh, so, oh, there you go. Is it oh, that was amazing. Yes. Yes. I like this. It was. Was that a good bug? I would never have thought that. It'd be so good, but it's so neat. <sighs> Such a tasty little bug. Let me see if I can find another one. Oh, this one looks like a cricket. Here, you want a cricket? You want a cricket? Oh, no, wait, that's a cricket from Mulan. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's a lucky cricket. Oh, no, there's a... Oh, Oh boy, he ate the lucky cricket. He said his name was Jiminy. I, I, I don't know. I what hope that meant. it wasn't important. <laughs> okay, guys, this is this is getting out of hand here. He already ate Jiminy Cricket and the cricket from Mulan, so we're we're running out of yeah. bug side, Disney bug sidekicks here. Okay, so okay. Um, so I, so the transformation ray. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna haul it to this back room here in this little wheelie dolly and see if I can't fix it. I do have an ace in the hole because I sort of figured. This would happen someday, where the the, the, the uh -huh. transformation ray would just go googly mook in the moment. I do have a. So, have you heard of have you heard of of um of a rumor by any chance, barely? A broomer? Is that like a boomer? Uh, no, no, I haven't heard of no, a broomer. No, broomer, B R O O M R. So it's it's an app. Like you know how you can get DoorDash and you can get a lot of things delivered. So broomer is specifically sure. for witches. So oh, if you okay. hop on there and then just poke, because normally right. witches are like a phone buy service, but a lot of them are opting for this now. So go ahead and see. Okay. I'm gonna hand you this this gigantic cell phone from the '80s and pull it out. It's got it's running wow. Android somehow. But just go ahead and uh, okay. Request a witch. I'm gonna haul this transformation ray back to the back room Let's and see, see if I can't fix it. Quick. So I'll see you in a bit. It's like, it's like witches near you. Um, all right. Well, there's a couple. There's, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll choose this one. Hello. Oh. Hello. Someone summoned the witches three. <laughs> Who do I see? A bear tiki. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh -oh. Hello. I need a witch. We are, I'm in need of a witch. Well, we, we are witches three, except there's only two of us now because Tabitha has strep throat, but it's not COVID. Oh, well, let's get... No, it's not COVID, not at oh. all. No, that's all right, oh, well, Charisse. Okay, good. And my name Charisse? is... Charisse? My name is Gwendolyn. We are the witches... The of witches course. three is a brand right now with the witches two. How may we be of service, Mr. Well, well, I have a newt here that was transformed from a pup pup to a newt and now the ray that transformed him transformed him is not working so i need to transform oh, him back oh to a goodness. pup oh my goodness oh tabitha go take a look hello there <laughs> but i'm not tabitha she's got strep throat oh. oh that's right so sorry you all sort of blend together i mean we only have one eye that we oh, share so. normally tabitha does the whole uh, normally Tabitha does the animal transformations, but so you were not very specific with your request of the witches. This requires a cauldron, clearly. We'll have to look around. All right, my dear, go see if you can find a suitable Let cast iron see. cauldron. I'll gather wood. Um, oh, oh, I, uh, here, I've got I've this I've got one. a warm drin. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, it's a little small, but we'll... We'll make well, it work. The newt's a little mm. small, so I think it'll be okay. I I don't know. You know, normally but, for 
How large was your friend originally? Uh, about six foot tall. Oh dear. And mm. ad adorably cute. Oh my goodness, he's adorably cute, cute right now. now. I was going to say this cauldron well, is only good for a foot tall transformation. We'll need six more of uh -huh. these cauldrons. Mm. But I wonder okay. if we chop them into six yeah, pieces. I don't like oh, that. That could also work. Oh, no. Transform one piece at a time. Yes, what do you think of that loot? Absolutely more but, efficient. Uh, well, it, but I no, don't chop him up. Oh, no, well, you Please know, don't so. chop him up. Darling, there's a there's a ball pit nearby. Why don't we just set the ball pit on fire? Oh, that sounds terrific! All right, fantastic. We're feeling okay. full of a strange broth here. I've got. Fairly, right, what so, is so, even so going the on right now? For turning... Darling, I don't know. So, I'm just hang on, okay. just hang on, Tabin. Uh, we're we're gonna I'll get trust. you fixed as I'll soon try. as we no, can. We're, we're going to work on it. We just it's there's some chanting and some some herbal brewing and all that. So so, Mr. Bailey, I have a question yes. for you. Do you have? I a probably start? have an answer. So so, first of all. The application is only for booking. We do require a deposit up front. Oh, okay. It's going to take. We and now, now we do accept cryptocurrencies, but right now the transformation. I need a ten dollar iTunes gift card. <laughs> two of them. Two of them. <laughs> Don't forget, them. Oh, this is yes, no, two, two. Yes, one for yes. me, one for her. Yes. All right, let me uh, it, let me just one, get that on there. And, uh, send me your one? email address, oh, yes, and I'll it, have one sent is, to you. It is it is Gwendolyn the Great and Mighty at hotmail dot link. Hotmail dot link. Hotmail okay. Link. I was. Very I would have thought it was which mail at which, email. but you know. Yes, well. So okay, very early on. Okay, I'll I'll send them to you. You should have them right about Fantastic. now. Fantastic, my darling. We have the gift cards. Pour yes. in the frappuccinos into the bowls. I guess Tabitha's left going. out, yes. but that's yes. okay. We, she doesn't. She, she doesn't get a gift card. No, that's okay. Well, well, don't say anything to me. I mean, this is, this is the gig economy. You snooze, you lose. And so. that's what she gets for snogging frogs all night. Oh my goodness! Well, there was there this you one go. frog yes. named what was his name? His name was, I believe, Wilbur. Wilbur, yes, Wilbur, he's an influencer on TikTok, and she was smooching him and smooching him because he said he was a prince, but come find out, he just wanted her to go to Fire Festival. Shame. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot shame. of shame. Oh, you know, there's there's so much shame right there. Games. So now, much shame. Okay. I, I have a question for you. This can be easier if you can sing a little newt song. Music always helps the process. So are you capable in your tiny little newt uh, air sacs. I know you don't have lungs, you only have gills, but can you sing a tiny newt song? I can, I can. Um, uh, should, I, should I do it now? Or when should I do it? Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, try the fry or the Kaiser or the wheat or the white. If you want, you can have an appetizer. Stay away from the tuna, uh -huh. it smells funny tonight. But you just can't go wrong with the rye. Or the Kaiser. Did that do it? Is that good? I say, this is really oh, catchy. I was going to say, maybe we should just keep him a musical salamander. This is quite wonderful. Yeah, I, I believe that is the work of the great bard, Al of the Weird. It no. is the great oh, yes, bard, yes. Al of the Weird. Yes. Oh. He, he's been a great influence. The great bard, bard Al of the Weird. <laughs> You know, he. I, did you know that he's actually part leprechaun? I did not, but you know what? I can believe that, actually. <laughs> I didn't know that either. Uh, yes, well. yes. No, we're, we're actually we're, we're distantly related on my mother's brother's cousin's side. Isn't that right? I, I'll, I'll yes, trust yes. you, yeah. If you say, <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> I mean, Indeed. you would know. All right, the balls are melting a little bit, which is good. So how many frappuccinos did you add to that potion, darling? Fifteen. Yes. Fifteen, my goodness. Was that extra caramel in one of them? It smells a bit sweet. Yes, that, that was mine. I did not mean to pour it in, but... I was going to say that that's the traveling frappuccino, not the spell frappuccino. Oh, dear. Well, it's good. I was going to say no, you're going to get a bit well. sticky in there, but we'll, we'll figure it out. So... Ba I do have a question for you, Bailey, because it makes the process faster. Normally, a transformation like this in subpar materials and also with the extra card amount, it's going to take several hours, but we can hours. add a catalyst if you have one. Or a neutralist in this case. And what would that catalyst be? It would be or a, a can list. of Four loco and also a square of fabric from a furry convention. Oh. 
Oh, well, I happen to have both of those right here in my my oh, bag. Oh my goodness, you like to party, don't you, Barely? Oh, I do, oh, yes. Oh my goodness. Well, give yourself a little sit before you dump it in, and I'm just going to gently set our new friend here on the writhing balls and and gently cooking frappuccino. There you are, my little set. <laughs> on the <laughs> writhing <laughs> balls. Okay. Okay. Well, we didn't take the plastic balls out, so there are also band aids, and there's I think there's a My Little Pony vinyl oh, figurine oh, floating exciting. around. Is it is it Fluttershy? Oh, I hope it's Fluttershy. And look, and there's a three year old in there too. Oh, oh yes, no, that 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 kid was paid extra for the splash uh, zone okay. apparently a few episodes. Ago. Apparently, yes. Yes, indeed. So go ahead and pour in the four loco and chant yourself your favorite Gregorian chant. Barely. Your favorite one. <laughs> You have to pick one. Oh, my favorite one. I didn't know that. I, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. A Gregorian right? chant. Darling, behind Sorry. me. What's your favorite Gregorian chant? It's the one that goes ho ho he ho he he. That's. I love that one. That, that one's very good. Oh my goodness! It's, it's oh, a, I've got it's one. I've got. E e e su domine, dona e is requiem. I, I hit myself in the head for some reason. <laughs> it's a head singer. <laughs> It is a, it is a, it's a headbanger. Oh, it's a different oh, headbanger. Oh, look like at the colors changing in the ball pit. All right, little Salavander, we are ready to cast the spell. My sister, come before me, and we yes, shall yes. channel the energies. So, Ooh, the energies. tricky, tricky, tracky, trucky, truck. Turn this newt into a pup. And, oh dear, oh, mm. nothing. Nothing happened. Oh, no. Nothing happened. Oh, no, wait, no, wait, what, no, what? It didn't, no. Oh, goodness. No, well, well, we got portions of him. He does now have a puppy oh, tail. Yes, oh, yes. Right he does. And the with a puppy tail is so cute. Like, you know, this this ball pit really is a subpar cauldron. I don't believe the spirits are happy with us. Oh, dear. Um, no, probably not. Uh, sure. You know, I am sensing a powerful presence here. Perhaps we can channel... Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm wiggling my fingers. There, there's raccoon energy in this space. Uh, hmm. This is strange. My, my goodness, my friend, the bear, what was your name, sir? Uh, barely. Barely what? Barely normal. Barely normal. So you're normal, yes. but just barely. Yes. Oh, Mr. Normal, do you happen to know a, a powerful raccoon spirit that inhabits this place? <laughs> I know a raccoon that's very powerful... He rains down upon us from time to time, and his name is Rain. Who summoned me? My goodness, a chin! Sister, sister, hide! I shall cast him a, a binding circle! A riggedy riggedy roo! I bind you! Oh god, it didn't work either! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, coward! Oh, hey, witch! Ah! <laughs> uh, there's, there's a lot, a lot going, going on. on right now. <laughs> there's, there's so much. There's a lot going on. Oh, oh, mighty, hey, wise back. Rain Everybody's Raccoon. Back. Oh, shit. Oh, hi, Rain. What's up? Yes, I should have known it would be you. Oh, hey, yeah. No, um, first of all, you look great. I mean, you're, you're, you're glowing, you're blue, and you're completely naked, and you look amazing. Thank you. Um, and, uh, okay, there, I can see which, like, boot prints around, but they, they booked... And uh, uh, Taben's still a newt. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, um, he's a newt with a with a little Taben tail. But uh, oh, he does have a oh mighty tail. rain. Oh god. Rain. Oh mighty rain. Can you like fix him, please? I suppose I can. Well, wait. Hold on. Rain. Rain. Do you remember they did they did put us on trial and they did take the dragon bike. So. Oh no. Oh no. Yes. Barely. Let's come back. I feel like let's come back. To I, us. Feel like oh, no. I feel like you're. I feel like you're. You were owed something. I mean, I'm just. You know, like it'd be nice to have that dragon motorcycle I back, so I could turn into a sword, and he could turn that. into the warrior, and we could. Look, I'm just, mm. I'm just saying this is a rare opportunity because, I mean, Rain's basically a VR like avatar now, so he doesn't really come down. Mm. And now I sort of feel I need to work this because I've been scraping together the cash from the HMO payments, trying to save up for a new dragon motorbike, but like that other one was just like really cool. Uh, all right. Well, Tabin, I'm going to let them have the motorbike so that you can get back to being a pup. I, I, I'm actually okay with that. That is fine. My wig, my little tail. I, my little dude, tail. hey, hey, okay. hey, hey, Rain, this worked yes. out. <laughs> all, right. Out all right. Now, Rain, do you, do, right. you do, do magic? Do you just, I, I forget what mechanics that you use to transport. Do you, do you, do you shape them like a piece of clay? It's kind of like, like how to... I just snap and things happen. 
Uh, oh, so, so it's like it's like it's like quick editing because we have a low budget and we're syndicated television in our first season and we want to save money for craft services. Something like that. Fantastic. Sure. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and step back and let you work your magic, Rain. All right. Let's see. This whole thing is a mess. Oh, uh, by the way, yeah, barely, barely. Here's a lead apron, just in case you ever want to have children. Oh, um, thank you. And then you. I'm going to hide behind this uh, several feet of concrete. <laughs> That's right. Okay. All um, right. Tabins, Rain. stay very still. Oh, I will. This is going to require all the power I have left as an omnipotent being. There's also a lot of caramel in that ball pit, so just factor that in. Ooh, yummy. Yeah, all right, Taven, are you ready? No, but the, um, stay, yeah, just do it. I'm s- as still Great. as I can. I'm going to try and reverse everything that happened up to the Star Trek incident. Oh, okay. In three. Wait, wait, wait. I okay. What? I was gonna say, cause like, cause I don't know, cause like, if you reverse everything, I, I feel, I feel kind of guilty, cause like, Crunchwrap Earl is actually doing really well now. I mean, he and Skyler mm. are like dating and stuff. Like, he's really turned his life around. So if we, if we undo that, Crunchwrap Earl is gonna go back to being really weird and desperate. Yeah, we don't so, want that actually. You know. Okay. Uh, how about this? I'll reverse everything in the lab. Okay. That works better. Back I, to the I like way it. Was before we, in, we did the Star Trek thing. All right. Oh, wait, 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 but if you, but wait, wait, if you, if you reverse that, you're going to lose your god powers then. Yes, yes, but I've been floating around the universe for the last few weeks. It's boring. There's nothing out here. But like David Bowie's up there and Elvis too, right? Like why would you? They are snobs. They think oh, that they? just because they oh, were no. big, high-polluting stars, oh, that they don't no. have to associate with the raccoon. I just want to say I'm oh, still a new, so I hate to interrupt oh, this, but sorry, yeah, that's, he's still a new. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. So can we so, get wait, on so with you're, this? You're sick of not omnipotence. Thanks. Yes. Wait, but you, what, one, one last, one last question. One last question. Yes. Is Mr. Rogers still cool? Oh, he is. The yeah. Coolest. No, I mean, that's I've been like, hanging yeah, out in his I house all week. Yeah. That's all I needed to know. Okay, bar- barely. Here's a that watermelon means- helmet. Here we go. Okay, let's. Okay, let's thanks. Down. All right. All right. All right. This is gonna take some concentration. Stay very still, Taven. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> that was wow. quick. Holy guacamole! Oh my gosh! Like, I feel bigger than like I was that. a few seconds Taven, ago. You're back. Yay. Taven, and, and Rain, you're back. And, and I'm the back. transformation ray. And the it's transformation ray is back. It's back. Oh, Everything's my back. God. Oh, <sighs> man. Okay. Why did we... But Rain, your, your powers. Your beautiful, awesome power. It's gone. With so oh, much man. power comes great something something, and I'm just so tired of it. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Well, well, it's good to have you back, say, though. And Thank and you. Plus, floating around the universe hey, is hey, kind of tough. The deal for the dragon motorbike still holds, right? Even though we don't have the power to mess with you anymore, I I'm okay with it. I'm okay. Yeah, with it. okay. yeah all you right, can have it. All right, all right. We haven't been riding it much. I was so. gonna say, yeah, and, oh, there was, we go. yeah, and it so. was it, it's 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 good that you didn't change everything because yeah, no, Crunchwrap Earl and Skylar are pretty, they're pretty good. Yeah, for each I could other. see that. I, I I like that I idea. Well, I like that's, that. That's, I'm sensing that's good. quite the bromance there. Wait a minute. You're, right, the bromance. Well, sensing. Good. Wait a minute. Good. Are you still? Hold no, no, no! Just second. as regular gay art. I, 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 I was gonna just say your ears are a little pointier than normal, and you've got two pupils. I regular. Are you regular? Regular, my regular, gaydar. regular no, gaydar. Regular mm-hmm. gaydar. Regular gaydar. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Huh? You gonna you gonna phase through a wall? Or you gonna walk through a door, Rain? No. I'm on to your nope, schemes. Nope. 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 All right. Just okay. a regular okay. raccoon. All right. Well. Uh, okay. Uh, well, Lux, thanks, <laughs> thanks for, for that. that. Yeah. I think. Yeah, well, I was um, gonna say. I mean, we could. I mean, the, 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 I, think, I was gonna say, dude, the, the transformation ring is in immaculate condition. Look at that. We could go for round two it is. if you wanted to. No, 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 no. no. We'll come back another day. Uh, well, Taben, but uh, well, look, we need to get I was going. Say, let's put a bow cause... on this, Taben. What is the ultimate lesson that you learned as a newt? That it feels very adorable and cute to be a newt. That's, I think, the biggest thing I can take away from that. Ah, it's cute to be yep. a newt. Its newts are cute. Yeah, that's a that's a wonderful. Wonderful lesson. Okay. Um, well, the one issue is is that with 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 rain now returned to normal, the weird magic juju to get you across the punchy pit, I don't think is going to work. So hmm. I, we got to figure well. out how to get you out of here. Um, but you know, I, I still see the witches. They're standing outside and cowering in terror, but they've probably got flying brooms. Why don't you go talk to the witches real quick and you can get out of here, right? Hi. Hel- uh, okay. Hey, hey witches. Yes. 
Which is? Can you? Don't look at us! Don't look at us! Oh, uh, friends, it's okay. It's okay. The, 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 the omnipotent, the, the biblical angel raccoon. Oh no. Well, we, he's 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 gone. Oh, what a hell! But we need a ride. We oh, need a cross. We need a ride across the pit. A ride across. We need the a pit? ride across the pit. Well, you know, yes. we didn't we didn't quite make our money is the problem, but I suppose we can do the regular ride share. If you want to hop on the back of my broom and think witchy thoughts, yes. we should get across. Witchy thoughts. Witchy thoughts. And, and you, and like you no longer salad and witchy uh, woman. Uh, go ahead and hop on my sister's broom. Come on, hop on there, big pup. Woo! Uh, Ooh, I'm a big, big pup. Uh, yeah, now, now, okay. now, well. excuse me, darling sister. Yes. I do believe this pup is spoken for, so Ooh, well. mind you, you're a man eater. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Here we go. <laughs> All right. And here you are on the other side. I, you know what? All right. Perhaps I shall change my name to Kiki and do a delivery service instead of actual witchcraft. There you go. Mm. Sounds there you great. Sounds like a fantastic idea. Absolutely. Yes. Well, cleaning, one of the two. All right, yes. well. Uh, now, All both right. of you be good because Santa Claus is my second cousin and he knows. He knows when you don't tip well. In fact, maybe another gift card might soothe things over. Too dear, I'll, too. I'll, I'll make sure that gift cards and a good, I'll give you four stars. Four stars? So four the, stars. Our, our, the star rating on our application goes up to 666. Four? Oh, out of well six, then, six, six? I'll, I, then I will give you six six five. And because what? if I give you six six six, you have no room for improvement. That's a good point. That's it very good. That's not there, dear. I uh, good. All right. Well, goodbye <laughs> now, come on, Tabin. Let's, let's get the heck out of here. Let's get the heck out of here, Tabin. Happens, let's head on uh, back to our studio I'm because no, no, wow. we go, we go, we go. No, no, don't, no curse. Goodbye. I'm running. Let's just run, run, Tabin, run, 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 run. Well, Tabin, that was uh, that was kind of fun. You were a newt. You were cute as a newt. Yeah, as and... I said, it felt cute. But the whole, the overall experience, I don't know if I could give it four, even the four out of six hundred sixty-six stars. I don't know. Yeah, six hundred sixty-six stars. You know the witch thing. So it was like it's terrible. It's just, but uh, anyway, terrible. Uh, I tell you, I think we should we should put that whole experience behind us. And okay. I think we we need to chat with our guest this week. We have a guest. We do. I'm so excited we, to have a guest. They are waiting for us. Well, of course they're not really, but we'll say they're yes. waiting for us in the studio. So we should go talk to who should we talk to? Trash Panda. Yay! Can't wait to talk to Trash Panda Finn, bringer of love again. Let's go do that. Joining us again as a second return guest is Trash Panda. Welcome to the show, Trash. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> AKA Finny. But <laughs> right, but he but but Trash Panda. Well, well, it's Trash Panda. Well, you know, you know, it's it's everything else. I come from marketing, you know, it has to everything has to work. And yes. and that works. There you go. And that works. And go. that works. Just as as Taven said, also known as Finn. Hi. Hi, and welcome to the show again. Hi, Finn. How are you on this fine night? So you are still in Germany, is that correct? I am still in Germany. And what time is it for you right now in Germany? Around three thirty a.m. The um, outside is absolutely pitch black. Everything you see is just my LEDs and the train station out the window. Uh, okay. Well, all you first, if you look for the train station, you'll be pretty much looking at Finn. So we have discovered the secret or something. So you're still in Germany and it's late. Did you have to drink lots of coffee to stay up for just to be with us on this fine eve? Um, and not today. I mean, I usually work in content moderation, right? So, and uh, it's like work with different shifts sh since the internet doesn't sleep, you know, it always needs to be moderated. And I use the night shifts because they pay better. Oh, really? Okay. That, that's... Well, that's always good. <laughs> pay is pay better is always good. Oh, yeah. That's what I've been told. Yeah, nice. Kind of need the money. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I hear that. I mean, if you've got to pay for your expensive trash somehow, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm not legally allowed to say that I'm mostly stealing all the stuff anyway. 
Okay, but you did not hear it first, you furs. You did not hear it here. So, uh, since we talked to you, we had you on the show back in the beginning of the year. How has life changed at all, or has it changed since we last talked to you? Well, um, <laughs> do you want the detailed answer? I, I should. Um, sure. Well, sure. I, I'm yeah. scared all of a sudden, but okay. <laughs> Well, it's, it's been almost a year, yeah? Yeah. Right. And you have a new prime minister now, don't you? Chancellor, yeah. Your chancellor, yes. Chancellor. Yes. yes. Mm. Wow. Well, I mean... I did not know about that. I don't know the current status. I don't know who it is yet. I, I know I know. we got the new parliament now, and Merkel is gone after over 16 years. Oh, wow. That's quite a while. Is, is that a good or bad thing? Um, Depends on who you ask. I think, for the most part, it's sad to see her go. I think most Germans feel like that. But I think it's also about time, and a lot of people are going to be happy about it. I mean... I'm happy about it, not because she was bad, but just because it was just about time, you know, after 16 years. Well, yeah, I mean, you've, you've been in a job for 16 years. Clearly, you have stagnated and someone new eyes should come into the situation. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, it depends on who you ask. But yeah, that <laughs> that has happened this year. For me personally, not, not too much happened. Like, I've got a new job now. Like I said, with content moderation, which is not nothing too wild, really. I just watch a bunch of videos for a while. Um, helps me helps me stay afloat while I work on my Fuzznet stuff. And yeah, yeah, otherwise, I'm just still sitting at home. I mean, lockdown and pandemic stuff is getting a little bit less here, right? But, but it's, still, it's still there, and you still kind of don't want to go somewhere. I've been to vacation. But I was also rather held back, you know. You, you didn't like go out and about romping around like the raccoon. You are crazy time. I mean, we did, but not not too much. So, I but I ha I have to ask a question because I know what it sounded like you said, but I don't think that's what you meant it to sound like. But it sounds like you're doing condom moderation, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think that's what you're doing. Correct. Oh yeah, I, I moderate condoms, but no, okay, no, no. Well, no. I don't know. I, I I moderate I, content, content, oh, content, you know? content moderation. Okay. All right. Cool. That's and that's good. Not, I, and it's not the contents of the condoms either. It's good. Just, that's good. It's that's just good. the okay. content. <laughs> the content moderation. Awesome. Thank you. All of a sudden, I'm having flashbacks to our conversation. Last time you were on the show about the devil's lettuce, and I had no idea what that was. And again, I have no idea what's happening. So we'll we'll just move on, because um, my puppy yes. brain is having troubles with this. So exciting news, I know. And you mentioned this just a little bit ago. Fuzznet has been taking shape and form. And I, I was looking at, you know, over the last few weeks, been looking at the new content and everything. The website's changed. You've got a lot more stuff on there. Tell us about this exciting changes and updates. And I guess, first of all, if you could remind our listeners, what is Fuzznet and what is it all about and where can we find it? Yeah, good thing that you say that. I think that's a good thing to start right now <laughs> since it's been a while. Yeah, Fuzznet, Fuzznet Music is my own project, which is a furry music collective currently consisting of over 50 people. I think it's like around 60 people signed up like in our team. I think 45 people have released a song with us, like have released something with us so far. With the songs that are scheduled for this month, we are reaching over 400 released songs by the end of the year as well. Oh, wow. It's pretty good. That's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Fuzzy music is like, I think yeah, you could best describe it for the most people like a music label. It's just important to kind of differentiate that we're not a label, but a collective. Mostly the same thing. It's just a few technicalities. The people that care will understand. Uh, those that don't, for all intents and purposes, just think of it as a label. So th those that don't more think of your collective as the Borg, whereas those that do, <laughs> don't. <laughs> What we basically do for the most part is helping musicians get the music out in terms of distribution, getting all the music on Spotify and Apple and Amazon and, you know, everywhere you, where you want to listen to music to. We do it in a way that allows content creators to use the music, like streamers or video YouTubers or whatever. You can use the music for free and without anything except credit, and you can monetize it as well. So uh, that's a huge thing we try to achieve. And so you help spread the word of the furs, the musical furs. <laughs> we, we help spread the word about the musical furs, exactly. And this is also the point. We don't just do it for artists in-house, in like only the people that we have, but we also try to um, build up the furry music space itself. We made a furry music separate. We made a huge um, list of furry musicians not associated with Fuzznet, which um, this is over 100 people now too. So more than 100 additional artists from Fuzznet that you can find on our website now as well. 
Nice, nice. And of course, all different genres. I, I noticed um, recently you've got acapella, you've got EDM, you've got like country class called indie with a fur touch or something. I know you've just got everything on there. <laughs> yeah, neither collective um, nor the list really discriminates for, for genre. And on our list website, you can also just basically search for the genre you want, like control F and just search your page and you can find something you want. I, I tried my best kind of making a nice layout for it. No, that's very nice because like Twitter, for example, if you try and find something on Twitter, you can't. Like you can't just control F and say, oh, there's this phrase I remember that I wanted to find someone tweeted. But you can't do that. It's just so that's very great that you're not Twitter. Good for you. <laughs> well, I was, I was about to add on to you that the biggest problem for musicians in this regard is discoverability, right? Uh, uh -huh. And especially if you try to do something like, okay, hey, I want furries who are musicians. How do you look for something like that? You, you pretty much don't. The furry music separated was basically dead and there was no real resource. So I guess I took it up to myself to just create resources and spaces for people. And now we're just doing our best to uh, just give spaces for the rest of the community as well. Nice, nice. And I guess I should ask, where can we find the website? What is the URL? <laughs> well, you can find us on fuzznet.world slash music or without a slash as well. And you can find the furry musicians list either on the same website or under a different link, which also leads to the same website, but furrymusicians.xyz. Dot X Y Z. <laughs> so, so you learn how to you learn to say the alphabet too, and that's amazing. <laughs> Um, and, you, and you mentioned um, the subreddit. So where can we find the, the Reddit? Yeah, uh, the subreddit is just r slash furry musicians. Furry music. I, I see a theme. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's everything very straightforward. It's also, I think, very good to have. Nice. Yes. Yeah. And and YouTube and everything also, you can just search those things and um, you'll find all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. So let's go back to, and this, this kind of goes back again to what you were originally talking about, <laughs> about the reason for FuzzNet and everything. But what was the original purpose? Like when you, like you said, you, you took it upon yourself to have this project to help promote and help find free musicians, which is awesome. And, and I think you're right. We definitely need that. Was that like the first inception of this project or did you have some other completely different idea and it just kind of morphed into this idea? This is a pretty good question, yeah, because I only caught myself today thinking about this. So in the beginning, I read a bit about music labels and distribution and just the, the stuff itself. And I thought, hmm, I've seen a couple of furry musicians in the past, right? But it's kind of hard to actually find furry musicians. And if, I don't know, everything I checked out, like I said, the subreddit was basically that the furry music subreddit. There was a website I found which was inactive since 2016. Oh. <laughs> and that, and that kind of stuff, you know, it's just, it, it, I kind of felt bad. <laughs> I tried thinking about if I just get a bunch of furry musicians and we just join together, basically just join forces, you know, just support each other a bit more. This is not a new concept in this regard, but it really quickly went from just a group of people trying to support each other. It really quickly went to this music label idea. And then by the time I was there for the first time with you, most of the idea was kind of done, but you know, we were still in the process of, of setting foot. Still in the beginning. That's right. Yeah. I remember you talking about that yeah so now over the year we basically just got a lot more established we filled out our slots so we basically at maximum capacity until we're able to extend our contract again oh wow okay so you've been doing good stuff <laughs> yeah prolific anyway what's the most exciting thing about it the changes in the where you are now with it where we are now is um, like I said this we're, we're at capacity a little over over 50 musicians we switched new distributions so a whole workflow just works a lot better now a lot cheaper and it's just better for both sides as well and yeah right now we're basically playing the waiting game until we're able to achieve enough funds for upgrading our contract to invite new musicians. So that's exciting that you're at that point, but it's also not exciting because like, well, now I have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, we've done well this year and right now I'm just working, um, I'm refreshing our Discord a bit and I'm refreshing the, the website a bit. <laughs> Today, I basically reduced the load times of the website by 80% by, by reducing a bunch of image sizes and all that. You know, until we reach the next step, I'm just streamlining the entire process. <laughs> just reducing image sizes and things, you know. <laughs> 
the, that, the usual fun, things. Fun. So once you are done playing the waiting game, what do you think is going to happen in the future? Do you have any big plans or ideas or, or adding new stuff? Or you're just going to try and get more artists in? Or what do you envision? Well, the first thing, of course, is getting new musicians in. So our next contract expansion would be probably another 50 artists. Oh, nice. Okay, nice. So that is our next capacity. And um, we already have like, I don't know, 10 people basically waiting for me to open up. So that's going to be filled pretty quickly, which is really nice knowing that a lot of people just kind of wait for it and kind of believe in what we're doing, especially like from the artistic side. And um, yeah, what we then do in the future is, of course, just improve the infrastructure that we have, especially for artists. And on the website presentation manner, I think so far we set up pretty well, especially like for your average furry business, I suppose. I like the layout of the website. It does navigate nicely and you can find things as you say. I I was actually very surprised because I was just looking the other day and I said, I wonder if this artist happens to be on here. And I did a control F and it actually found it. And I was just like blown away that it actually did that. Yeah. And then future plans, of course, tweaking what we have. I also have a couple plans regarding supporting artists and furry creators in general, like outside of a music context, right? But those are some big plans that I uh, can't really talk about yet. Oh, so all you first, you did not hear it first. No, that is very exciting. And I mean, speaking of that, you also have other nice content on the website. You talk about art commissions and furries confess, and you have some streaming things. So tell us about those other non-musical things you have. It was the first time I heard about it. <laughs> oh. No, no, nah, no, nah, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Because that's actually happened before. We we had someone on the show and I was like, oh, yeah, and you've also got this great thing on your website. And I mentioned it and they were like, I wish I knew what you were talking about, Taven. So that's good that you actually know. That's no, great. no, this time, this time you're right. But uh, all of these things are just getting kind of increasingly less relevant. The art commission thing is technically still running, but I haven't done so in a while. And the last ones are technically still in queue. I'm kind of getting that worked out. Well, it hangs, hangs on another artist as well. So it's not just all my fault. For the Furries Confess thing is actually, it's something I kind of want to do, want to keep doing, but it's a bit expensive. I don't know. I've been doing it for almost two years now and it kind of lost the motivation to do so. Yeah, it's on the back burner. It's just kind of there hanging around. Like the poor piece of trash that you left behind and poor trash is back there and says, no, pick me, pick me. And and you like, you've already run off to your next trash can, right? So... It was the first time I was doing when I started taking Twitter seriously, like when I made the Fuzznet account and all that and just kind of thought about projects to do inside the furry fandom. Furries Confess was the first thing I came up with. I see, I see. And now it had some popularity. I think over 2,000 people actually followed it on Twitter. It was a lot of fun. It had some pretty pretty nice posts that sparked some pretty nice conversation. I had someone who helped me out with posting, but they kind of stopped as well. And instead of just searching for someone who wants to do it, I'd rather just respectfully put it to the grave and embrace what I'm now doing. So basically, I'm like the art commission stuff, the confess stuff that just kind of gets put to the side so I can focus more on the music aspect. However, the streaming and YouTube thing, Battlefield 2 is releasing in two days. I'm definitely going to be streaming again on Twitch. So, so I can tell you. <laughs> so you're taking some time off and everything else to do some streaming with Battlefield 2. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so where, that begs the question, where can we find you on Twitch? Uh, Trash Panda TV. And are there 10, 15 A's in there? It's four A's. It's four A's. Oh, it's still just four A's. Oh, okay. Good, good. <laughs> gotta, gotta get the right number. Because if you do five A's, you've got the total wrong Trash Panda. Like, you can't do that. I've had someone ask me a couple of days ago, because they met someone named Trash Panda on Overwatch. And they were like, is that you? Really? Oh. I said, no, I have four A's. I also don't play Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, I have four A's. <laughs> get it right. Come on. That's actually surprising. I wouldn't expect to hear that. But there you go right how dare you and of course there's the telegram chat which is just fuzznet world or i forget what the telegram chat is called the link to it is just fuzznet world you can basically just search fuzznet in a search bar anywhere and okay (laughs) 
<laughs> have I not learned this yet? Have we have we not been talking this whole time? You know, like I should have figured that out by now. So you can go in and talk to other furs on Telegram. And I have to know, well, I have, there's a few things I have to know. One is what are good ways we can support you, of course, is just to tune in and support all the artists you've got on there. But what are other ways we can actually help support Fuzznet? Do you have a Patreon, merchandise, Ko-Fi, etc.? Yeah, we've got, actually got everything you just said. And because of what we are, you can also just support us by actually streaming and sharing the music that, that we have. I think, I mean, we have coffee, we have Patreon, and we have Redbubble and all that. And you can, there's just, there's a big button on the website at the top right if you go on the website. But I think the most important thing, and I have to say that not just for Fuzznet, but I think for every artist and creator and musician, if you see something, if you have something that you actually like, you enjoy that shit, you know, you look at it uh, or you hear the song like five times a week, please. Please, please share it, retweet it, like it, whatever, favorite it. Give it, give, just do something <laughs> that helps this this artist out that you like so much to actually get another listener. That, that's very true because how else are other furs going to hear that unless they get the word out? So yeah, definitely, exactly. And there is, you know, the furry community, of course, yeah. you know, bear the... Well, we all know, has so much great creative content in our fluff. It's just, there's just so much out there that is worth listening to and seeing and all that good stuff. Awesome. Another very extremely important question is, and I don't think this is something I asked you last time you were on the show, because we've been talking all about music and everything. What type of music do you like, Finn? What I like? Well, um, I, I may be biased, but Fuzzin is pretty cool. <laughs> but personally, no, personally, I especially like minimal ele electronica, something chill. I like chill stuff, electronic beats. I also really like brass instruments, like anything with brass, like especially like in, in the swing genre. Oh. It's pretty dope. Rock and German hip hop, but not the gangster type. Not the gangster stuff, but the wholesome stuff. And do you like electro swing? I do very much, yeah. Oh, you do? Okay, there you go. What is electro swing? Oh, are you unfamiliar with electro swing? I'm a, I'm unfamiliar with electro swing. Please educate me. Well, um, as the name suggests, it's a combination between electro music and swing music. Okay. And if you haven't heard of it yet, I think I'm just going to send you a nice mix later on on Telegram or something. I'm just going to send you something nice on YouTube Okay. that you can get in, uh, into. Cool. If you'd like either electro or swing, probably more swing, if, you, if you'd like that stuff, mm -hmm. You know, like old style music, right? Oh, I love swing music. I love big band swing also. So yeah, yeah. And then you're probably going to electro swing is just that, but uh, with a modern twist. Nice. Okay. There we go. Thank you. CEU earned. Another CEU earned. Okay. So the last time you were on, you said you were trilingual, but you were rusty on one of the languages. Have you gotten any better? <laughs> Well, I didn't necessarily have uh, so so yeah. I know I know English, German, and, and Russian. Uh, English and German. I used I still use more English and German, even though I am German. While well, German is still in mother tongue, and yeah, Russian. I didn't have <laughs> much opportunity to speak Russian, so I guess well, it's it's, it's, it's the yeah. same as as last time. The same as last time. <laughs> well, okay, I, I picked there up go. some Italian on vacation though. So really. Wow, Italian. Hmm. So that makes you quadlingual. No, I wish I wish I actually knew, know knew anything else. I I don't actually know Italian. Please don't please don't put that anywhere. Oh, okay. Don't put it there. Okay. <laughs> I was, I was just kidding. I was I was I was in Italy for a for a weekend. Okay, <laughs> this is not enough to learn a language. So you know how to say pizza and wine in Italian? Yeah. Well, I I usually use Google Translate and then actually spoke the words myself. Oh. There you go. That's cool. That's cool. So that, 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 that works too. Google Translate is great. I used it when I was in Thailand. I would just type what I wanted and then I would put out the phone so they could hear it. It's also really nice with this uh, translate, uh, like Google Translate app when you can use the camera to live right. translate text. That shit is oh, so, yeah. that shit is so cool. <laughs> It's amazing, and so, but sometimes it's not exactly accurate. Uh, I've noticed a few things. It's not hundred percent accurate, yeah. Uh, especially no, but it's it gets you close. It gets you. It real gets close. you close enough to understand what the hell you're trying to read here. I mean, especially if you don't understand the language at all. Like I used it in Romania on a, on a vending machine that I kind of didn't understand what the hell does a vending machine actually wants from me to give me stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. I, so I used my phone yeah. and the instructions manual, which was in Romanian. And then it actually helped me to understand. Like there was no guide. There was, there was this weird button, button pad. I don't, I didn't know what to do. Okay. There's a, <laughs> I didn't know how to use a vending. I'm a fucking raccoon. You don't know how to use a vending machine. It's like, okay, I'll push this button, see what happens. Oh, look, that came out. I didn't want that. That, but I'll eat it now. 
So I, fe- I felt so lost. So Finn, uh, is there anything else that, that you'd like our listeners to know about you or what your work is going on these days? If anyone's, if anyone's interested in, uh, in checking us out and supporting us, then, uh, Please be our guest on the website. It just it doesn't just come to benefit me, but a lot of other people, um, a lot of other furry musicians I, in and outside our team. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, Tabin, you have the floor. <laughs> so, Finn, what are the names of your favorite plushies? <laughs> the names of my plushies? Actually, they don't have a name. I mean, I do have like a long cat plushie, which I which I called Flair after a friend of mine. But other than that, no idea. Okay. <laughs> and I feel you, bad about that now, now him. that you mention it. <laughs> now that, uh, Taven, look what I did. I made you feel bad. Poor raccoon. And so you're trilingual. <laughs> Last we time you were on that. the show, I know you did. I'm trying to be okay. funny and it's not oh. succeeding. So. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> and, and also, wow. is there anything else you would like our listeners to know about you? And welcome to the show, Finn. It's great. So you <laughs> deal with FuzzNet. Okay, we're, we've... It's done. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Well, you, you just you just went went completely parabolic there. So we should turn the tides. We should turn the tides on him, Finn. So Tabin. Hi. What's your favorite plushie? Oh. Ah. Mark. See. Well, it, I mean, it's it's either Jacob or TB. Hmm. Probably. Finn mm-hmm. probably doesn't know who I'm talking about, but I, I have I have a big wolfie named Jacob. He's this big wolfie, and he shows up in some of my videos sometimes, and then tiny little wolfie TB shows up in my videos sometimes, and TB goes with me to all the cons. Jacob goes to, with me every now and then to the cons, and TB go fall down. <laughs> a lot. What, what, where, TB, go, okay. TB go fall down a lot, yes. TB go fall down all the time. And his nosy is like it when he fall down on a plastic surface or something, his nosy makes a click. So you always know when TB go fall down because just out of nowhere you'll hear click. <laughs> and it's like, oh, TB go fall down. You should probably come to my place at some point. Like I'm waiting for my roommate to move out. And as soon as that happens, we're going to have an entire room and we're going to plaster that thing in furry stuff and plushies and fluffy things. Mm-hmm. So nice. <laughs> oh, you, 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 nice you and Jacob, and Wolfie, you, you're all invited. Nice. Oh, wow. Awesome. I'm so excited. Yeah, we are. We're going to do us some Germany. <laughs> Yeah. In the fluff. That's exciting. Some Germany. Germany. We're just, we're just going to do the next podcast episode like next year locally, right? Right. Yes. Sure. Oh, we'll do yeah. It, we'll I do mean, it live from Germany. We'll, we'll do it live go. from uh, from fuzznet.com in Germany. Yes. Dude, barely. Just do a Tom Scott thing, right? I'm barely and I'm here in Germany now. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. So, Finn, do you have any wise words of wisdom or your parting shot to our fandom? Yes. A fandom's only as good as the people that support it, right? So, 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 so please That's true. support your artists. Get out there. Share their works that you enjoy. Be, be decent. Be nice. Be decent. Be nice. I love it. I love it. Well, Finn, thank you very much for coming on the show again. It's a pleasure to have you. It was great to have you reach out and say, I want to be on the show again. We've been um, kind of lacking for guests, but it's great that you have come on the show again. Well, it's nice. It's nice that you had me, especially that's fast. (laughs) Yeah. Well, and it's glad that your schedule worked out because, you know, schedules are what schedules are sometimes. What else are you going to do at three in the morning, right? So here we are. (laughs) Right. You you may as well talk to a couple of guys in America. Why not? Right. A couple of furs in America. Hello, America. I'm big fan, yes? Come to America. Yes, <laughs> yes. Is, is that your Borat impression? <laughs> well, I mean, Borat is filmed in the... Oh, Kazakhstan. Well, yeah, yeah Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan. That's kind of where, it, where it's filmed. And that's that's where my parents are from, roughly. <gasps> oh, really? Wow. Uh, I had no idea. Yeah, but they're, not, they're, not, they're most, mostly not actually speaking Kazakh, though. <laughs> no, okay. Oh, okay. No. Cool, cool, cool. Well, we're going to let you go. I know it's late or early there. It's late for us here. It's early for you there. And I'm sure that you have some things that you need to get done, like sleep. Like sleep, I was just going to say. <laughs> like I said, I'm on, I don't, I'm on night shift schedule. I'm going to be awake until like 7 or 8 probably before going to sleep. Okay. Wow. All right. All so right. I guess instead of sleep, you will uh, be awake and that's what yeah. you have to do. <laughs> He'll be doing fuzznet business. That's what he's going to be doing. So yeah, listening to music and doing business, right. I suppose. Yep, yep, yep. Before switching back to YouTube in bed. YouTube in bed. There oh. we go. Is that like Netflix and chill? YouTube in bed. 
Yeah. All right. Well, Finn, thanks for coming on the show. It's been a pleasure having you. We will chat with you another time and you're welcome on the show anytime. It's been awesome to talk to you again, Finn. You too. Have a good night, raccoon. Likewise. Goodbye. Well, Mr. Finn, second time on our show. It's always great having a second time guest on our show. It is. And Finn's wonderful. Very prolific with their Fuzznet and other endeavors. And, and it's exciting that they're getting work out there and letting other furs know about the artistry. And I didn't know about the... Um, they said that you can just stream the music from Fuzznet and everything. And that it helps get the word out and everything. And, and I didn't know if I knew about that. So that's, that's very great. I didn't know about that either, but I'm going to have to pay a little more closer attention to that. I mean, I've been on the Fuzznet site a number of times and I didn't realize that you could just stream the music. I guess that means I should spend a little more time on it as opposed to just clicking on it and saying, oh, look, that's Fuzznet.net, you know, saying. But, and the, well, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Actually, we'll just say that it's a newer feature that is so new you haven't seen it yet. We'll go with that. Right. Right. There we go. All right. All right, Tabin, you know what a time it is when we get back from talking with our guest? What time is it, Tabin? I do know what time it is. It is time for... It is for... time for... Say it together. Say it with me. Furries. One, two, three. One, two... Let's try this again. One, <laughs> two, three. Furries, furries in, in the news. The news. <laughs> okay. Give us your Give us your intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my furries, my my furries, my 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 furries, 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 my 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 furries, furries. Maritza, are you still listening? My 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 furries are no. Wow, what's happening to my life in the? <laughs> Bark. Wow. What even happened? What every happened? Every week there? you sound to get you get a little, little it sounds a little harsher every week. Every freaking week. <laughs> the anger. I tell you the anger. <laughs> There's lots of anger. There's lots of anger. We have quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit. We have we have several things in Furries of the News this week. Oh, nice, nice. The first item is Dorian Electra. Now I don't know if you've heard of this artist. He's a musical artist. Artist. I'm very I'm being very enunciative today with my word uh, with your word your one word my one word i had not until i saw this in the script did you go watch it i i did and let's i'll tell you what i thought after you talk about it how's that <laughs> okay well let's see uh the the write-up goes if you ever wanted to build an army with the most powerful soldiers would your first thought be furries well, furries wear thick fursuits during the summer, de demonstrating their resilience in tough conditions, and not to mention all of the criticism they get from everyday folks. Well, Dorian Electra's newest music video, My Agenda, debuts their fursona and their army in a colorful, anime-inspired world. Inspired by an Alex Jones quote that falsely claimed that the government is putting chemicals in the water that makes frogs gay... Huh? Yes, that was a false claim. That, that was a... <laughs> making false, making gay frogs. Electra created a world where this conspiracy theater becomes theor theater theory becomes a <laughs> it reality. Pretty much a theater. Actually. It was very theater. It's like a new world full of furries and gay frogs. Uh, the video includes oh, stills of Electra and their furry friends in anime style drawings as the government unleashes gay frogs from the sky, and then a giant <laughs> Pepe the Frog whose image was hijacked by the alt right becomes larger than life and performs popular TikTok dances as he destroys a city. So this video is very, I guess it's considered industrial rock and hyper pop. So there you go. Okay. Yeah. So all you furs, everything, that description is so accurate. It's like, I got done watching it and I'm like, wow, that was very strange. <laughs> yes. So very strange. I think I, I actually want to watch it again, but uh, just because it's so strange, it's like Lady Gaga meets Alice in Wonderland meets um, the Flintstones meets, I don't know, pick something. Weird Al. Yeah. Weird Al and oh, mush yeah, it, it was, all together. It's, uh, oh, wow. It's not very toe tapping. It's very industrial. <laughs> very, yeah, there's no, oh, wow. It was uh, very, very 
Interesting. Very. I, I had not seen, as I mentioned before, I had not seen any Dorian's or, or even heard of Dorian before. Yeah. I do feel strangely like I want to check out some more of Dorian's mm-hmm. videos. Uh, wow. So every fur, take a watch. Well, don't take a watch because that's stealing. But yes. take a look-see. At, at the video, and it was just released really recently. A couple too. of weeks ago. A couple, couple of weeks, weeks ago, ago. Yeah, yeah so, so as Barely said, it's called My Agenda by Dorian Electra. Take a watch. Uh, we would both be very excited and interested to hear what you to hear, uh, think To hear your take it. on it, yeah. absolutely. So yes. r- write us in on the website or in the chat or something and let us know. Let's have a discussion about this. I think we could have a pretty interesting, we'll say, discussion about what happened there. Yes, indeed. All right. Now, the next thing that we wanted to talk about. So there is a comic, an online comic that I read called Questionable Content. I've been reading it for a very long time. Oh, they're okay. up to they're up to episode or comic number 4,652. So he wow. does a is daily this a comic. Web comic then? It's a web comic. Yep. I'll have, to, okay, I'll have to check content. it out. OK. Mm-hmm. Over time, the characters have evolved. So mm-hmm. this they just delved into the furry world. Just the other they day. They did. Of course they, they did. did. It, it had to have been at some point, right? It had to be. Yep. There's three characters in these panels, and I'm going to read the comic to you. Okay. There is Martin. He's one of the main characters, and his girlfriend, Claire, and they are visiting Claire's mother's house. Okay. And his mo- their mother does an avatar thing where she's a, a cow that has six breasts. Oh, okay. And is this like from streaming or is it just her normal Streaming avatar? and stuff. She does stuff online. So so she wanted to tell her children about this. And so Claire asks her, okay, I can just barely wrap my head around your streaming video games with thousands of people watching. And, she's, and her mother says, but I sense a butt coming. And Martin is sitting in a chair saying, well, this is a comfy chair. Claire then says, but your avatar, are you a furry? And mom says, what's a furry? And then they both stare at each other. And then Claire says, how do you do this and not know about furries? She says, is it like Pokemon? And then Martin says, this is either a God tier troll or your mom has perfected internet compartmentalization. (laughs) Oh, that's awesome. That's like, that's awesome. And then the next day, the next comic says, mom says my goodness look at the craftsman at that costume and claire says right martin says i wonder if there are ai furries that's a good thing to wonder (laughs) right because a lot of the stuff in the in this in this uh, world of question of content they have ai and robots all over the place oh okay 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 and mom says well i don't think i'm a furry but it does look like fun and claire says i'm still amazed that you didn't know about them until now and then Martin is wondering to himself, would it be possible for an AI to have a human fursona, like a skin sona? Um, wow, Martin's really, and he's just sitting over there. There's conversations going on, there. and yeah, he's yeah, just sitting yeah. there wondering this stuff. Good wondering about this stuff, yep, yep. And Mom says, I've seen it mentioned in my chat, but after the tub girl incident, I learned never to Google anything I see people talking about in there. And Ma- Claire <laughs> says, fair enough. And then Martin says, huh. I'm going to go with no, because while fursona sounds cute, Skin Sona sounds like something a serial killer would have. Yeah, see, Martin's got it. Martin's totally Martin's got, got it. Martin's got it. Yeah. And so. I have a feeling, so every fur out there, apparently don't go Google Tub Girl incident or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether, I, I might I might look it up and I might talk about it on the past next week, but I if it's bad, I won't talk we'll, about we'll it. We'll see what it is, I guess. We're okay, going to have to good. see what it is first. Yeah, yeah. No, so. no that's very cool. I'm going to have to check out this um, comic more. Sounds good. Sounds great. Yeah, it's going to be good. Especially they're fun. really evolving with the furry stuff. So that's the uh, Right. Okay. And then uh, finally, we have a story about Harvard. Oh, Harvard. Yeah. Harvard. You know, that, that Institute of Higher Learning. Higher Learning with all those CEUs. So many CEUs at Harvard. And it's in Boston, right? Um. Sure. Yes, I think so. Somewhere near there. It's in Connecticut, yeah. I think. So um, actually, so, John Harvard is the founder, I believe, and it's in Boston, Massachusetts, if I remember correctly. Oh, Massachusetts. Not Boston, Connecticut, which is a smaller no. town. Yeah, no. That's a very small. <laughs> yeah. yep. That's a different thing. It's the lesser known Boston, Boston, Connecticut. It's true. So, uh, <laughs> it's true. I didn't know about it. 
Yeah. So last week, the Houghton Library at Harvard presents a new exhibition on animal anthropomorphism. They opened oh, wow, their exhibit really? after being, yeah, after being closed for almost two years, they opened up this thing and it exhibits, the exhibit focuses mostly on animals and children's literature. Visitors can see the original manuscripts and illustrations from children's literature, including a suppressed 1965 edition of Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland and letters oh. from Beatrix Potter about her famed children's book, The Tale of Peter Rabbit. Now, okay, the chief communication officer for the library, Anna Marie Ease, said there are more books that have anthropomorphized animals or inanimate objects as protagonists than there are about books that have protagonists of color or disabled protagonists hmm. or LGBTQ protagonists. So hmm. there you go. Interesting. Interesting. Now, that that's really cool. I'm really glad that Anne Marie like actually noticed that and pointed that out. That's very cool. She said that it's not the kind of children's exhibition that panders to nostalgia. We've tried to be very engaging and very critical of this genre of children's literature. And the exhibit runs through January 2022. So if you're in Boston, Massachusetts, not Boston, Connecticut, and you want to go see this, <laughs> it's open to the public and you can go see it. And if very any fur cool. goes and sees it. Write in and tell us about let it. Let us know. Let us know. You knew we were going to say that. I, I want to clarify that. I, th I think it's very cool that Anne-Marie pointed that out, not just because of noting the anthropomorphized animals, but in directly pointing out that there should be more books that have protagonists of color, disabled, and LGBTQ. So hopefully that will help inspire authors to have more of those, those uh, types of protagonists. So... All this is yeah. very cool. Very cool. All right. And upcoming events. Of course, during this release, we are busy at a and w I hope I'm having fun. I hope I'm having fun, too. In just a couple of weeks after this releases, the Midwest Fur Fest. Fur, fur Fest? Fur Fest. Fur Fest. The Midwest Fur Fest is happening at the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center on December 3rd through the 5th. And... If, are you going to that one? I am not. I have not been to MFF yet, and I'm not going mm. this year. So ho hopefully someday. You know, the last time, so MFF, I think was 2019 was the last time it ran. It uh, had 11,002, I think, um, attendees. So the biggest uh, FurCon in the wow. world. With And 11,000, that's like literally a small city. Like literally, if you look at populations of cities, that's that a is mid -sized a city. city. That is yeah. not just a, yeah, that's right. That's not, that's a mid-sized city. So yeah. it's like yeah. huge. And also at that particular time, the, the waiting line for um, registration yeah. got to be literally six hours long. Oh. And, I, oh. and I've seen pictures, you see pictures of this and you, like you see lines, it, Filling up an entire room, like, you know, the little, you know, back and forthy little ropes that make you go through lines and stuff. Right. Yep. The room yep. was filled with that. And the room was just one huge line. Like the whole room was filled with just one huge line. line. And you actually, there were two rooms. Like the first room was a line to get into the line to register. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like, wow, that's, that's craziness. Anyway, there's that. You know, I someday will get there, but. That requires probably flying. It I don't does. know that we could drive. I don't think one. we should even try to drive that. That would be a waste. Uh, that would be a that would be a two day drive. But yeah, I suppose we could do it. But if we really wanted to, or not, it's up to you. <laughs> uh, <I'm laughs> but not but not this year. Clearly not. But this not year. this year. No. Yeah. 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 It's a little too no. close, and it's also close because we're doing FC and everything, and that's like a month away from FC. Yeah, it's, right. they're, they're pretty close together and everything. And it's only it's only three weeks after A and W, so yeah, it, it's pretty. You'd close. be bong 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 like bingo bango, bongo. I forgot bingo, that. At the bingo, 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 bongo, bongo. There it is. But any fur that is going, their website says that we hope you can join us December third through December fifth for a weekend packed full of panels, events, dances, dealers, artists, as well as many opportunities to help money to raise money for this year's charity. And any for that's meant to MFF knows that that's what they do. And they are excited to be joined by, uh, the guests of honor is Lynette Eklund, Corey Bing, and Rachel Buck. i sorry to say, I don't know who those are, but I'll be excited now to go find out who those furs are. And so they say, watch this website and to follow us at, at FurFest on Twitter, on social media, for all the latest information about MFF 2021. So if any fur goes to MFF, 
Well, it sounds like a bunch are. It'll be really interesting to see what the attendance is like this year, as with all the cons that are happening this year. But if you go, write us in. Let us know how MFF went. Absolutely. And then coming up the week after that, if you happen to be in uh, Puebla, Pio, Mexico, you can go to <laughs> FurCan 2021. If That's you happen December to be there. 10th through the 12th at uh, in the Instituto Poblano de la Yonatuda. I don't know if I said any of that right, but sounds um, good to me. We'll have to. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to ask. Pa- I bet um, Paco Panda is going, and um, probably I'll have to ask Paco if he's going, and then if he does go, maybe he can come on the show and give us a review of Furcan 2021. Um, absolutely, perfect. I'll make a note to ask him about that. Actually, so. <laughs> All right, you promised us the math last week, and you fell down on the job. And I so, did. do you have a math this week? I do, sort of, actually, and I say sort of because sort of. it's in the form of physics, not math. Oh. I mean, there's math oh. involved, of course, but it's more in the physics realm. Okay, let's so, get physical, physical. Physical. No. I want to get yeah. it. That's good. Who was that? Was that Diane Summers? No, who was that that did that? I don't know. Another past today. Past, I was just going to say yes. another, but I should totally know who that is. But anyway, so I want to talk, and I had a lot of fun actually learning a lot about this. Uh, so I want to talk about Schrodinger, Schrodinger's cat. Oh, Schrodinger's cat. We've talked about this several times. Have we? And it's, we mentioned it a couple of times. Oh, we've yeah, mentioned you'll it, say but... something like, yeah. Yeah, and we'll, we'll yeah, bring it like... up. Yeah, so I want to actually talk more about it, a little bit of the history of it and the exact and the actual statement of it, because I think a lot of people have an idea what it kind of says, and some people hear mm-hmm. the words and don't know. So I thought it would be really cool and exciting. And actually, shout out to my honey, Tatsu, for the idea. Okay. I had a lot of fun researching it. it it's actually, this is an intellectual one. All right. It took me a while to wrap my head around things, but I'll try and explain things as good as well as I can. Because uh, I'm not a physics okay. pup. I'm, I'm a math pup. So... Anyway, so I want to first start okay. talking a little bit about the history and um, define some things, and I'll talk about what it actually is. So Schrodinger's cat, the, the guy's name is Erwin Rudolf Joseph Alexander Schrodinger, uh, also more commonly known as Erwin Schrodinger. <laughs> why do why do old-timey people always have so many names? You know, I wonder that. I looked at that and was like, wow, that's a lot of names. I think it's an ancestry thing. So he lived from 1887 to 1961. So he's actually a modern physicist. Mm-hmm. And he was into quantum mechanics. What quantum mechanics and physics wants to do is it wants to provide a description of the physical properties of nature that are at the scale of of atoms and subatomic particles. So it it tries to um, look at nature and things and explain things from the very, very small. So there are several Mm -hmm. different theories of quantum mechanics, like five or six or maybe even more, but several different ones, one of which is called the Copenhagen interpretation. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. Mr. Schrodinger was a Nobel Prize winning Austrian Irish physicist who developed a number, like he he did a lot of fundamental results in quantum theory. For example, there's the Schrodinger equation, which provides a way to calculate the, what's called the quote unquote wave function, which is actually just a mathematical description of describing things and probabilities and things in a system and and how Mm -hmm. it changes over time and everything. Anyway, the Schrodinger equation is a very uh, highly regarded equation in quantum mechanics. He also worked on a unified field theory. And so uh, that means that he worked on a a unified field theory. Field theory is something that unites gravity, electromagnetism, nuclear forces, and the things like that. We've talked kind of about this idea on the show before. If you remember Maxwell's mm-hmm. equations we talked about. Yeah, so it's along those, yes, we those have. lines, those ideas. And he, he had many works on thermodynamics, statistical mechanics, blah, blah, blah. Lots and lots of things. And of course, he's also known for Schrodinger's cat. A thought experiment. So okay. let me start talking about that. This was a thought experiment in 1935. So let me first talk about a few definitions. Okay. A quantum state is a mathematical entity that provides a probability distribution. That is, it tells you the probabilities for the outcomes of each possible measurement in a system. So you've got a system, you've got things that happen. And you've got all those things that can happen have a certain probability of happening. And so Mm -hmm. a quantum state 
is a mathematical thing that tells you over, like it tells you the probabilities of all those things happening. Okay. okay. Are, are we hanging on so far? Is this okay? Are we good? I, I'm hanging on. I got okay, it. Okay, yep. good, good. As I say, I actually learned a lot from this. I had a lot of fun researching this. A quantum superposition uh -huh. is a principle. It's a fundamental principle of quantum mechanics that says that any two quanta or more, any two quantum states, the thing I just talked about, can yes. be added together, that is, quote-unquote, superposed. And when you add those, you get another quantum state. Okay. And actually, conversely, every quantum state can be represented by a sum of two or more distinct quantum states. So okay. what this says is, mathematically, it also refers to a property of solutions of the Schrodinger equation. So we've got lots of interconnecting things here. You can get lots of information from all this. So, okay. um, Schrodinger's cat. This mm -hmm. thought experiment, which, as I said, was devised by Schrodinger in 1935, and actually in discussion with Albert Einstein. So I also found out Schrodinger had a lot of conversations. A lot of the work he did was with Mr. Albert Einstein, which I did not know. Wow. So that was very interesting, huh. very cool. So this uh, Schrodinger's cat thing in discussion with Albert Einstein came about in order to illustrate what Schrodinger saw as a problem of the Copenhagen interpretation of qu quantum mechanics. So like I said before, quantum mechanics has several different interpretations. Some have their own pros and cons and flaws and everything. And uh, this Schrodinger cat thing was, was one way that Schrodinger used to illustrate problems in the Copenhagen il um, interpretation. Okay. So, okay, let's actually get to it, to the kitty. So Schrodinger's cat, for any of you that knows, has to deal with like, killing of a kitty and i don't want to talk about killing a kitty so instead mm -hmm. we're going to talk about schrodinger's evil pillow <gasps> okay so we'll have an evil pillow the, the experiment goes an evil pillow a flask of potion and a radioactive source are placed in a sealed box and in that box there's a monitor such as a geiger counter that's a thing that measures radioactivity a monitor detects radioactivity and radioactivity by the way is a, such as a single atom decaying mm -hmm. um, yes. so if this geiger this this thing detects radioactivity the flask is shattered and when it's shattered it releases the poison that was in the flask which then kills the evil pillow <laughs> and Okay. There is an equal probability that an atom might or might not decay over the time of, say, an hour. So maybe the experiment okay. goes on for an hour. So that is the experiment. Now, okay. the thing that people know about Schrodinger's cat comes up with the interpretation. So in the Copenhagen interpretation, that theory of quantum mechanics, assist, how that a system stops being a superposition of states... That's why I talked about superposition and becomes mm -hmm. either one or the other. It happens when an observation takes place. So yes. it's not decided yet or anything. You have to observe it for a thing to happen. Yes. So then the, the Schrodinger's evil pillow can be then interpreted to mean that when the box is closed, the system simultaneously exists in a superposition of the state's decayed, dead, that is, dead, evil pillow, and mm -hmm. living, dead pillow. And mm -hmm. that only when the box is open, that is, that's when the observation happens, it's only at that point yes. that it's determined whether it's living or not. And so the Copenhagen interpretation implies that after a while, the cat is simultaneously, not the cat, the evil pillow is simultaneously pillow. alive and dead. But then when one looks in the box, at that point, one sees the cat either alive or dead, not both. What this does is it poses the question of when exactly quantum superposition ends and reality resolves into one possibility or another. Because when is someone going to observe something? I mean, it's, yeah. So that's the Copenhagen interpretation. The whole, like, the evil pillow is alive and dead at the same time thing. Now, there's other interpretations. There's one called the many worlds interpretation. So the many worlds is um, another theory in quantum me mechanics. This interpretation does not single out observation as a special process. So be 
observing something does not stop whether two things are in the same state or not. So an observation does not stop supervision, superposition that the evil pillow is both dead or alive after the box is opened, but they're decoherent, which is physics way of saying that they don't interact. Meaning that when the box is open, the observer and the possibility that the evil pillow is, is dead or alive is split into two like timelines, if you will. And okay. so it's simultaneously dead or alive in mm -hmm. different like realities, but the realities right. don't interact with each other. So there's okay. like, I don't know if this means there's multiple observers or not. I, I didn't get into that. It's very interesting and hurts the brain. And wow. Yes. So any fur that's interested in that, you can go check out more Google Schrodinger's. Now, what's also fun is there's a meme uh, going around called Schrodinger's Dishes. <laughs> and yes. So, you, you know, um, like you have a china cabinet or something. So it's a cabinet that holds dishes and everything. And mm -hmm. there's a glass, you know, the, the door is a glass door and everything. So you right. can see in it and everything. Yep. And so the, the, the picture is of this and the shelf is like just far enough from the door so that some dishes are dropping, but they're, they're held because of the door between right. the shelves. And so shorting our dishes is... They are broken and not broken at the same time. At the same time. Yes. <laughs> because absolutely. if you open it, it's they're done. Anyway. Yep. That's cute. So that's my math slash physics for the week. I hope you found that okay. interesting, Barely. If you did not, then I'm sorry I bored you. No, I did find that interesting. And there's a there's another theory in quantum physics that says the just the mere act of observing something changes the outcome or how the items react. Right. Yep, with yep, each yep. other, whether they're observed or not observed, which makes my brain hurt because to me, it's going to happen whether I look at it or not. But they will say that if you look at it, then it does something different. Like, how does it know which, it's being watched? It, which kind of relates to the whole Monty Hall, Monty Hall problem I talked about. Like, yes. Lots of go. Yes. It's like, yep. how does it know to change when you open a door? Like, how does that happen? Right. Wow, it's yep. interesting so how it's, it's all related. It's, Everything comes back together. Yes. After that brain hurting math, I think we should lighten the mood a little bit because we, you know, we don't lighten our mood enough. So let's tell no. some jokes. Do you have your joke book with you, my furry friend? I do. <laughs> why are you? Why are you singing it operatically? I don't have any idea. All right. So tell us about your book. Okay. So for any fur that doesn't know, my book is called Funny Jokes and Foxy Riddles. And for the few furs that watched our show, our live podcast at BLFC, actually got to see the book. The book. Yes. In the whatever it is. And it's a golden book from 1968 worth 75 cents back then. And now it's worth negative 75 cents because the jokes are like, can you call them jokes? So Not bad. really. They're I don't. I mean, anecdotes. sometimes, yes. sometimes other furs have to like explain the jokes to us because we don't even get it. But there it is. Anyway, and then barely tell us about your jokes. Oh, I search them out. I look for really bad jokes or some that I think you might find funny. We're recording on Veterans Day, so I'm going to have a veterans joke to start with. How's that sound? That so, sounds wonderful. What do you call a soldier who survived mustard gas and pepper spray? Hmm. I do not know. This sounds very sciencey. What is the scientific answer? We call that a seasoned veteran. Ha! Oh, oh. oh! It's science, I tell you. It's the science. Science. It's weird science. Weird science. Weird science. Eighties movie and stuff. Oh, I don't want to do this page. It's, it's. Do you remember how last time? I think there was a whole <laughs> bunch of. Oh, no, there's not, only not one. Not, I don't want to. I'm going to move on to. Yeah, I'm going to move on to the next page. I don't, I don't want to do that okay. at all. Oh, the first, the first one is a knock knock. So. OK. No, I did that one last time. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to move on. OK, don't. All yeah. right, move on. Moving along. <laughs> Moving right along. So, move so. right around the little puppy to say that Pat and Bill were pushing a heavy hand cart up. Oh, and by the way, every for I have not read these in advance. No. And that's one other reason why we have no idea if it's going to be funny or if we even understand it, because I haven't even read it yet. So let's find out uh, what we think about this one. All right. So Pat and Bill were pushing yes. a heavy hand cart up a hill. Bill was working hard at it, but Pat did more leaning than pushing. 
Presently, it says presently, presently, they stopped for a rest, and Pat said, some push, as he looked down the hill. Yes, replied Bill, and some don't. Wait, what? Say that again. <laughs> they stopped for they stopped for a rest, and Pat said, some push, as he looked down the hill. Yes, replied Bill, and some don't. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's horrible. Uh, oh, my. That's oh horrible. My cow. That's horrible. It, it was. Yeah. It was horrible, I tell you. Yeah. Hey, Tabin. Speaking of horrible. I, speaking of horrible. Hey, Tabin. Yes. Did you hear that there are going to be thousands of people in San Jose this week? Thousands? It's not even January yet. I know. Do you know why they're going to be there? Why? Well, because they live there. Oh. I mean, science, I tell you. Oh, that reminds me of the elephant joke a few weeks ago. Do you remember the elephant one? Something oh, Something yes. about... Um, oh, yeah. She says to her brother, I really wish I had a million dollars for an elephant. And yeah. the brother says, why do you want an elephant? Elephant. And she says, well, I don't. I just want the million dollars. Anyway... The crickets have attacked my face. I brush them indeed. aside so that I can say brush, that brush, Bill brush. says, mm -hmm. what would you do if a man-eating tiger were chasing you? And do you know what Sally said in response to that? What did she say? She said, nothing. I'm a girl. <laughs> uh, that's true. That's true. And speaking of elephants that you just did, yeah. do you know how to hide an elephant? Well... In a tree with the cows, of course, but also no. how do you hide an elephant? No, no, you hide an elephant, you paint it red. I mean, come on, have you ever seen a red elephant? No, I didn't think you have. Nah, you've never yeah. seen a red elephant. I've so they're really hidden. Yes, yeah. Or a red elephant. A relevant elephant. It's irrelevant. The elephant. It's, it's an irrelevant. Yes. Anyway, moving right along. Wow, the crickets and the and the padum dum So there we go. Or whatever oh. else sounds we can make what up there. Other, all, I just want to hear really a string. Sounds. I just want to hear a string of all of them right there. <laughs> so now that we've taken care yes. of that audio yes. adventure, yes. the teacher is in chemistry class. Uh -huh. And she says... What is the formula for water? Little Billy says, H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O. And the teacher says, whoever told you that? The little Billy says, well, you did. You said it was H2O. Ha, 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 ha. I like it. <laughs> I, uh, I shouldn't, but I actually that's do cute. too. <laughs> that's, that's cute. That's uh, cute. I'm going to have to remember know. that for a and W, I think. You know, uh, uh, two years ago, the doctor told me I was going deaf, and I haven't heard from him since. I mean, right? Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> I, you I say? tell you, those those irrelevant red elephants. It's <laughs> yes, yeah, <laughs> they cause hearing problems. You know what? You know what happened the other day, Mister Barely? What happened the other day? Well, I went to the psychiatrist. Oh. I said, something's wrong with me. I keep thinking I'm a dog. Well, right? you are a dog. I am, right? See? Right, That's why I sir. told him. Uh -huh. And um, the psychiatrist said, like, well, how long have you been going? Has this been going on? And, and well, I said, well, since I was a puppy. <laughs> of course. Because that makes I all am. the sense in the world. That yeah. does, this is actually a really horrible joke because it worked out with me. So let me review right. myself and say that Johnny said, more cake, please. And the mother said, if you eat any more cake, you'll burst. And Johnny said, well, pass the cake and get out of the way. <laughs> All right. Oh, my, my final cat. joke is a ham sandwich walks into a bar and orders a beer. And the bartender says, hey, we don't serve food here. Oh. Oh. Oh, well. Oh. Well, On that note, I can tell I think the sound of the music is the upon music, us. It's it's rising in the background, and that about does it for us here at BFFT. Thanks to all of you for listening. We appreciate your patronage. Without you, there would be no us. It would just be an S. <laughs> oh, 
I, I get it now. I fixed that in the script because I thought you did a typo. But uh-huh. I, it's a, I get it uh-huh. now. Now you oh, get it. Oh, I, oh wow. that is amazing. That is so uh, amazing. Say that again because I want to make sure everyone gets that. <laughs> it says, well, without you, there would be no us. It would just be S. Oh, Barely, you are amazing. Yes, that is uh, true. The yes. science. The science, I tell you. Science. Science indeed. So anyway, but seriously, thanks to all who make, helped make the show possible through their assistance, contributions, or financial donations. We love you all. We hug you all tight with posies. As we venture posies. into this holiday season, now more than ever, it is important to moo bark fluff and stay furry. Taven, what wonderful words of wisdom do you have to part with us today? Well, they might be wonderful, but they will part hopefully not every fur from this show. Thank you, every fur, for joining us on the show. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you got some CEUs. There were CEUs to be earned in this episode. There and were. So thank you yeah. so much. There were. I mean, there Schroeder were. and his evil pillow. Who would have thunk it, right? But uh, yeah, thank you so much for your your patronage is the word that barely used, and that's a great word that you that you listen to it to us. We hope you like it. We hope you learned. We hope you love all that good stuff. And it's just amazing. And uh, can't wait to hug you tight with posies in the fluff, which we can now start doing because like cons are coming back and stuff. So yep, hope to Absolutely. see you again at a con in the near future. Other than that, have an amazing week. Thank you again so much. It means so much to us. Bark at you next week. Mubarak Fluff. Barely Fur Casting is an Injured Nerve Studio production and is found on all major podcast platforms or can be heard directly at barelyfurcasting.com. The opinions expressed here are those of the hosts and their guests, and no commercial compensation was granted. The Furcast is produced, recorded, and directed by me, Barely Normal, aka Mike Vegan, and is edited by myself and our associate editors Rain Raccoon and Bixby Wolf. This week's interview was edited by Bixby Wolf. Transformation Station is edited by Rain Raccoon. Opening and closing theme music, as well as some interstitial music was created for Injured Nerves Productions for the use on the podcast by Reg Day with Damian Tanuki. If you would like to hear more music by Reg Day you can search for Tweezer Beak on Bandcamp or Hoop Loop Tunes on SoundCloud. Other interstitial and background music by Shane Ivers through SilvermanSound.com, Gator Tots on SoundCloud.com, and the YouTube Free Use Library. If you would like to send us a message, you can do so via email at barelyfurcasting at gmail.com or on our Telegram chat at BFFT Chat, on Twitter, on our Facebook page, or on the barelyfurcasting.com webpage. You can help support the show through donations at ko-fi.com forward slash barelyfurcasting or through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash barelyfurcasting. Thanks for listening. We hope you come back and listen next week.